So the COMET trial is a phase three multi-center, multinational, uh, randomized, double-blinded trial uh, comparing the efficacy and safety of intravenous glucosidase alpha to glucosidase alpha. Uh, of course, it is a non-inferiority trial uh, trying to see whether glucosidase is as effective or even more effective in the treatment of late onset pumpy disease uh, than glucosidase alpha. The inclusion criteria for uh, patients in the trial uh, were the diagnosis of uh, late onset uh, pumpy disease, and uh, they had to be naive to treatment uh, of pumpy disease. So they have not received a treatment for pumpy disease in the past, including glucosidase alpha. Uh, patients were excluded if they were uh, wheelchair-bound or um, uh, needed invasive ventilation. Uh, the primary objective was to uh, determine the effect of glucosidase alpha on uh, respiratory muscle function as measured by uh, the percent predicted uh, forced vital capacity in the upright position. Uh, this was the primary outcome of the trial. However, the, uh, the other outcomes, including secondary outcome, the key secondary outcome was uh, looking at the effect of a glucosidase alpha on the um, functional endurance as measured by the six-minute walk test distance. There are other secondary measures that included inspiratory and expiratory um, muscle strength, uh, measures of muscle strength and, and motor function, and then health-related quality of life. Uh, in this trial, uh, 100 patients were enrolled, 51 were randomized to the glucosidase alpha arm, and 49 to the glucosidase alpha arm. Uh, Five patients in the glucosidase uh, alpha arm discontinued the trial, uh, either because of withdrawal of consent or because of adverse uh, events. Uh, in general, the baseline demographics and the characteristics of patients in both treatment arms were uh, similar, uh, including uh, uh, the percent predicted FVC and six minute walk test distance. Uh, in terms of the primary outcome, uh, we, we saw an increase of 2.43% uh, in the glucosidase alpha arm uh, compared to the glucosidase alpha arm at week 49. This was uh, uh, significant, significant in terms of non-inferiority. So statistical testing for non-inferiority was significant. The p-value for that was 0 0.0074. Uh, and for the uh, secondary key secondary outcome, the six-minute walk uh, test distance, uh, patients who received the glucosidase of arm uh, were able to walk 30 meters uh, more uh, in terms of distance at week 49 when compared to the glucosidase alpha uh, arm. Uh, this was significant at the nominal level. The p-value was uh, 0 0.04. Uh, we've seen positive trends in other uh, secondary uh, measures, such as the uh, maximal uh, inspiratory and expiratory pressures, measures of motor uh, function and uh, muscle strength and and health related uh, quality of life. In terms of safety, uh, avanglucosidase had a better safety profile than uh, anglucosidase alpha uh, because, as I said, five patients withdrew and all of them were in the uh, were all in the anglucosidase alpha arm. Uh, four of them was uh, uh, was due to uh, adverse events, and uh, serious adverse events occurred in in eight glucosidase alpha treated participants as compared to twelve uh, 
uh, and glucosidase alpha treated participants. And the immunogenicity overall was similar in both groups.